let's get started. You can literally install nothing and get started on these modern releases. You can literally jump onto our cloud and fire up any of these instances, even 20C, to actually get running and start running with them. Now, if you're one of those people that likes getting your hands a bit dirty and you're thinking, well, yeah, I'd actually want to install some stuff, but you don't want to spend hours and hours doing it, but you can choose to install just a little bit. We have some pre-built Oracle VMs that you can literally go on, download a zip file, fire up VirtualBox, and you're off and running. They've got the database pre-configured, they've got their patched up, they've got workshops in there as well. So if you haven't got much time, but you still want to play with the new releases, bang, you're straight in and going there using these releases. If you're a deep player like me that loves really getting into it, stuck into it, you can actually download the software as you normally would from OTN and actually install the whole thing from scratch. But even if you do that, it's still actually going to be easier than in the past. Once you get to Oracle 18, we don't actually ship you a zip file from which you install. We actually ship you a zip file, which is the Oracle home. You can see there, when you unzip the package you download nowadays, it's no longer a big sort of bundle that you have to store somewhere. And then you run the installer, which creates your Oracle home. The Oracle home is the software nowadays. You literally unzip it in place, run a configuration script, and you're good to go. So the moment you get to 18 onwards, even installation from scratch is actually easier. You can even do it even easier than that, because now finally, if you're on Linux, we can actually deploy the Oracle software with an RPM bundle. It used to be really frustrating to me as a Linux person that every piece of software on Linux would come as an RPM, except the Oracle database. You had to do something different. Now the Oracle database comes as an RPM as well. It's a one-liner install. And you can even install that's even as part of DevOps nowadays, because as opposed to having to totally configure a database from scratch, in 20C onwards, the Oracle home will be read-only. Those elements that would normally change in your Oracle home, your SP file, your password file, those kind of things have been moved out of the software distribution. The benefit of that is once you have a read-only Oracle home, it's trivial to copy. And if you can copy it and move it around trivially without having to worry about changing files, then of course you can run a database in Docker. It becomes very, very easy to attach a read-only volume to a Docker. And once again, you're very quickly firing up databases now in Docker. <laughs>